Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique, and today we're taking a look at Isotope's Neutron Pro Track Assistant feature. The Track Assistant is essentially going to make a customized preset for whatever I'm feeding into it. So I have a vocal group that I'm gonna feed into Neutron, I'm gonna hit the Track Assistant button, and then it's gonna custom make a preset for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna walk you through a little bit how it's doing it, and some of the different features of the Track Assistant itself. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass Neutron, and then listen to the vocal as is. Every day we struggle to survive. No money in our pockets, no peace in our lives. So that's what it sounds like without Neutron. Now I'm gonna go ahead and activate Neutron, and while the audio is playing, I'm gonna hit the Track Assistant button. Every day we struggle to survive. No money in our pockets, no peace in our lives. Every way you turn, despise demise. As if we are blind, as if we got no eyes. There's no while that was happening, I'm sure you heard the difference. It automatically got brighter and tighter. So let's go ahead and listen to it and bypass Neutron to see exactly what has happened to the audio. We struggle to survive. No money in our pockets, no peace in our lives. Every way you turn, despise demise. As if we are blind, as if we got no eyes. So it is brightened it up and it's tightened it up. It definitely sounds a lot better. It's a big improvement. And what's really cool about that is it's essentially made a preset for me. I didn't have to go cycle through a, a bunch of presets. I just hit the track assistant and it custom made a preset for me for my vocals. There are a couple of things to notice here. First, the neutrino mode down here in the lower right. There are a number of different modes that you can choose from, from vocals, dialogue, guitar, guitar, instrument, bass, drums, percussive, and clean. Clean is everything that isn't one of these, and it is for things like synths and stuff like that. So I fed vocals into Neutron, and it correctly identified them. Once it's identified what's being fed into it, it's going to use some common best practices for effects chains and certain parameters that are used very commonly and usually always have a good effect on things. And then after it's set up that, it's going to really focus in on customizing to the audio being fed into it. So it's a little bit of knowing the best practices for certain things and then customizing those best practices for what's specifically being fed into Neutron. So as you can see, See here on this EQ, we have this EQ filter number five here, which is a dynamic EQ, which is cutting down on the or DSing the audio, which is a very common practice. So you can expect to see that on most things. However, the amount and at exactly what frequency might change a little bit depending on if you're having a male or female, you know, falsetto or something like that being fed into it. You can expect that to move around, but the cool thing about it is, is the track assistant is going to do all of that for you. There there are two compressors on this track. There's an exciter, multi-band exciter. You can have up to three bands. And of course, if I thought there, it needed a third band, I could turn it on and then just adjust it from there. That's not this tutorial. It's just something to keep in mind when working with Neutron. The last thing I want to show you is the amount that the track assistant will adjust your sound. If you go into this little gear icon right here, you'll see your options window, and we have track assistant mode subtle, medium, and aggressive. By default, it's on medium, which is what we just did. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to aggressive and run the track assistant one more time so we can hear the difference. So first, let's listen to it as is with the medium track assistant. Every day we struggle to survive. No money in our pockets, no peace in our lives. So let's go ahead and listen to the audio again and hit the track assistant, which is now gonna use a more aggressive algorithm to change the sound that it's being fed. Every day we struggle to survive No money in our pockets, no peace in our lives Every way you turn, despise demise As if we are blind, as if we got no eyes There's no power in the web So as you can see here, it's kept my DSing filter But it's boosted just before it And we've got a higher shelf here We've got more of a boost on the high shelf Overall, the audio changed a lot Let's go ahead and bypass Neutron to hear the before and after. We struggle to survive. No money in our pockets, no peace in our lives. Every way you turn, despise demise. As if we are blind. 
So that's more of an aggressive curve. Um, the Exciter now has three bands utilized. The Compressor has two bands here with a boost down there at the at, towards the mid-range, the lower mid-range. So as you can see, things are changing depending on how much you want the track assistant to assist you. There is also the, the subtle mode, which we're not gonna cover right now, but you can guess that there's gonna be less EQ, there's gonna be a little bit less compression, less excitement, and just maybe more of a clean sweep of the audio as opposed to really changing it to try to help you make it better. I think this is the beginning of something incredible. I hope more plugins start to utilize this functionality, and I'm really excited that Isotope has taken this step in the right direction. We'll see you next time. Peace.